Hello, everyone! I am Tacit, and today I'm going to be going over the Spooky Imp. This is the last of the Primal Imps, the purple one, and now there's one for every single color. And he is a bit different from all of the other ones. Uh, for one, he is the first troop in the entire game to have a transform ability, other than on itself. Obviously, the werewolf can transform between the villager and werewolf and just keep looping back and forth but this is the first time you can actually transform an enemy into something else and he has a 50 percent chance to transform an enemy into a level 12 wrath or give all allies to magic whenever it casts uh it's split damage is just like all the other imps but because of this transform ability uh it does have the difference in that it uses uh, 14 mana instead of 12, and since it gives a chance of giving all allies magic, it doesn't actually gain any magic when it kills, unlike all the other imps which do. As far as its traits, uh, it's the same as all the other imps, it's just uh, elemental bond, plus it's linked to its color, and uh, plus one magic to its color. So it can still gain magic, but it just doesn't gain any magic whenever it kills. Normally you'd want to spend, put the spooky imp more towards the front of your lineup. The main reason being that uh, it's not exactly good to keep transforming. You'll want to get off like about one to two, but you, if you just start putting it like at the end of your team and he's the only person you have left to do damage with, uh, you have a 50% chance you're just going to revive it back to a uh, level 12 raft. So you do kind of want it more towards the front of your lineup. So we're going to show a couple teams with that real quick. Also, it is the pure purple trait stone, just like on console this week. Every single version of the game actually has the pure purple uh, arcane death trait stone, which you will definitely want to use to fully upgrade the sorcerer class, uh, which is one of the best class in the game right now. And we're actually going to be using it in both of these teams. Uh, so let's get into that then. Right off here, we have the first spooky imp uh, combo. Spooky imp, Ragnagore, giant spider, and creeping death. Uh, the Spooky Imp, uh, Giant Spider, Creeping Death uh, combo I have found to be the best for Spooky Imp so far. And in both of these, I'm actually just going to be adding another Exploding Troop to it. So fairly easy to uh, be able to build. The hardest thing would probably be to fully trade up the Hero class. But now that there's Pure Purple this week, that'll be fairly easier to do. So let's see how it does against this lineup right here. Uh, Ragnagord will be using to just generate the mana. We have a lot of extra purple right here, plus two from the banner. Uh, and an additional plus three from having three magic links on the team So we definitely want to focus purple We also want to focus red some since we do have a plus one on our Ragnagord So if we get a surge right here, he'll be at full mana uh, Of course, he doesn't get surge <laughs> uh, Let's see So now we'll pretty much just want to focus down the purples and start getting out our um Start getting our spooky imp. Actually, before I do, I'm going to take one more brown. I do want to get an explosion off before we do anything. He is, of course, going to take our purple pretty much every single time due to how much we use on our team. Uh, when you use the explosion, if you're going to use something like Ragnagore, do not hit the actual purple. You want to make sure you actually keep a little bit of the purple on the board so that you can use your giant spider uh, to be able to take out the rest. So, let's see. We'll take that. Hopefully, get uh, spider up as well. And we didn't get Surge, but we did get a bunch of other mana. So it is going to explode the board. Not too worried about that. Uh, just going to take blue. Hopefully get both of them up. Depends how he explodes them right now. We'll either use the Imp or just... Uh, depends if we have alignment this turn. We'll use one of the two. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so we are going to use this Convert Out to this ground. Preferably, we would want to Convert Out the Yellow that we do not use. But there is no way to get an extra turn off it right now. So we'll just go with brown. And that will give us a Creeping Death. I do, uh, normally when you cast, uh, if you're using the uh, Spooky Imp Creeping Death combo, you do want to uh, use your Imp first. Uh, just so, you, if you convert something out, whenever you do this Wrath, uh, it's going to transform it into a pure new Wrath with no mana. But if they're damaged, uh, it's going to be almost as if you have to fight a whole new troop again. So you do want to make sure you cast your Spooky Imp first. That's also why you don't want to end up doing it too many times. As you can see there, it ended up transforming into a Wrath. And if we were to do it again, or if we did this in reverse order, it would be pretty much undamaged. It wouldn't have all the damage from casting this Creeping Death right now. Of course, we get two Death Marks out. Hopefully, on one of them will kill. Um, Wrath seems to be pretty bad in what it ends up targeting. <laughs> I've noticed that uh, it has like almost no... Uh, I, I don't know, it just targets pretty much randomly from what I've seen. Though, if you do transform it and it's in the first slot, you normally do have to 
worry about death touch and chilling touch particularly death touch is going to be very annoying since they could just put a death mark on your first troop and uh, maybe kill it so doing an impervious in the first slot may be a good idea in none of these teams i'm doing it because i haven't really found it to be that big of a problem but it can of course happen that he just randomly kills you with a uh death mark so you do have to watch out for that uh, of course we don't really need our uh spooky imp too much uh probably just going to do this right now we can't kill it with Gorgopa. we didn't get a transform but we did get the magic buff so that's two to everything of course between Dark Channel and the uh, Spooky Imp uh, buffing us, we can almost one-shot them by the time we can get another cast off. So right here, do blue. That will hopefully give both of them the, all their mana. We're pretty close to it. One short. Wow. Uh, and Gorgotha won't be able to die here, I don't believe, unless we get really lucky with the Imp. He does have 41 damage right now uh, between everything, so we can try it. There's a pretty good chance that will die, and it doesn't. But we get another magic buff, so that's just an even bigger creeping death that we'll be able to use right now. Doesn't really matter if the spooky imp dies in this team, it's actually somewhat beneficial. Uh, because now, oh, there it goes, death, uh, death mark. It's actually somewhat beneficial since it's now not blocking any of our purple. And of course, the lower the team gets on the enemy team, the less you really need the spooky imp on your team. And there we go. And now what we need is just one more creeping death, and that is match. And given how many. Uh, bonuses we have right now. We still have double magic link plus a plus two. All we have, all we're, that we're missing is a plus one from the uh, spooky imp, but all we'll need to really do is just explode. I will do it on purple this time because we do uh, directly need purple. So it's like skulls, and that is the match. So let's show another team with it. Pretty much the same premise. I'm going to be using, again, the um, spooky imp, giant spider, and creeping death combo. But this time, we are going to set a Gorgotha in front of it. Really, uh, you could either set pretty much what you, what you need whenever you're making one of these teams is some kind of purple mana generator, which is uh, Giant Spider is the best for that. And pretty much just some kind of exploder so you can clear out the board when it's not doing good or uh, just clear anything. Amnesia is pretty good for it as well. Uh, the surface is currently not unavailable. Okay, well, that's just the normal Monday... Uh, servers not wanting to do anything servers will be slowly integrated into a new server provider as of um, as of starting of the next patch uh, which should be probably in a couple weeks or so so hopefully uh, we'll, we'll get better servers by the end of this year so stuff like all these little server errors don't keep occurring actually we're up against a pretty similar team right here um, Gorgotha, Spooky Imp, Giant Spider, Creeping Death against, uh, he has pretty much all of that except he's using War instead of Spooky Imp, which of course is decent as well, but, uh, we'll see how it goes with the Spooky Imp. If we can get a convert off, it'll be pretty good. I find it kind of funny that he's using purple, even though, um, he already has all that mana generation. We are going the brown yellow here just to get Gorgotha up quickly. If you were up against something like a Corvash, you might just want to set to double green or double blue or even a green blue just so you can get up your Giant Spider. Uh, because if Gorgotha was up against a Corvash, well, you'd have quite a bit of problem trying to uh, get up your mana since it'll just keep uh, draining you. And if it had a mana core on top of that, then you'll never have mana. You got this, servers. You got this. <laughs> uh, come on, servers. This is not my connection. It's just the servers for today. But they will be fixed eventually. Uh, let's see. Things to talk about. Uh, on the uh, uh, video I did earlier, uh, well, last night, I will actually be, I'm pretty sure most of you didn't see it or didn't hear it during stream, but when the Nintendo Switch comes out, um, the Gems of War developers are likely going to be adding the uh, Gems of War to Nintendo Switch. So that is going to be absolutely amazing if they do that. And I am intending to get the Nintendo Switch. And since the Nintendo Switch will likely be its own platform, wow, that took forever. Since the Nintendo Switch will probably be its own uh, platform as far as like separate from the PS4, the um, the Xbox, the PC mobile version, I will likely be doing like a whole uh, thing on it. May even do like a Let's Play series just on the uh, Nintendo Switch version of uh, Gems of War. So that is coming out. I have no clue when. <laughs> even when the uh, Nintendo Switch comes out, they'll still have to code it and everything for it. So, uh, no clue exactly when it's coming out, but they do have intentions to uh, try to get it out on Nintendo Switch. Uh, nothing's really been confirmed too much with it, but they have mentioned it. So, if they do, I'll have the Nintendo Switch, so I'll definitely uh, be doing that. So, right here, I'm actually going to go with Google, but it like skulls. I want that for the explosion. Uh, mainly, I want to try getting up the giant spider right here. And 
and there we go perfect that's exactly what i wanted we even got a lot of mana and extra turn on top of that so now we're pretty much set to go i'll do this on red convert that out no any color we're not using right now if i'm not mistaken uh board we're taking mana until there's nothing left of course he does get additional magic every single time we take purple which in most team lineups that you use him in isn't going to be that good uh but it helps some better than nothing if you have it fully traded He'll definitely at least want his second trait, that's for sure, for the magic link. Uh, we'll bait out the skulls again, I guess. Uh, we actually have men on everything, so of course use the spooky imp before you use creeping death. And uh, I might actually use giant spider, try to see if we can get a cast off before I do anything. Preferably, I would not want to convert out blue, but it looks like we'll have to. Uh, hopefully our uh, giant spider can get up just from, um, uh, just from the green alone. So we'll take that three purple right there, get the magic, take that. Uh, he'll take skulls, so we'll use Spooky Imp again, and then follow it with Creeping Death. Again, a magic buff, we're not getting any converts this time, though magic, oh, I just forgot the yellow. But uh, I don't mind the magic buffs, they're definitely very helpful, especially since we're using Creeping Death. It won't do much for Giant Spider, but it'll do a lot for our Gorgotha, Spooky Imp, and particularly our Creeping Death, which is going to be gaining eight damage for every two magic that it gives, since it's hitting every single uh, enemy on the other... Uh, on the opposing team so um i will use creeping death before he uses creeping death that also means we're likely not going to pass our spooky imp anymore because there's a chance that it'll fully heal it up uh i might just show it though i might just cast it once just to show it uh if we happen to get it right here i'm scared of that death mark though a double death mark uh oh one of them's on our hero too so that could take out one of our main damage sources Probably can. Oh, I was gonna convert out these reds. Uh, green, blue. Looks like we'll have to go blue again because it gives a lot more mana than anything else that we can do right now. And we'll take the double purples uh, before anything happens. Uh, let's see. Should we go spooky imp or not? Uh, I might just to show what it does. Uh, like it's going to make one of these. Let's see. If it transforms one of these, you can see they're pretty much almost dead. Uh, if it ends up converting one of them into a raft, it's just gonna be a brand new raft. Okay, uh, come on, three times magic buff. <laughs> I want to show it, but oh well. And, uh, well, I don't mind the magic buff, so we'll just keep getting so much more damage, and then boom, pretty much dead. All we have to do now is kill that little spider thing, and he gives it to us. So yeah, that is the spooky imp. Uh, definitely want to be careful with it, since you can transform them into something stronger if they're weak. But generally, the premise of him is that you transform into them into something weaker, which is why he's better to use earlier on than later on. And you can just try, uh, make him into some kind of team where the build is, come on surface, where the build is, um, will have something to clean it up because your spooky imp is never going to be your main damage source on your team just because of the random chance that it might end up making one of them into something like a wrath. Because if they're like, if that would have done a wrath convert on that war, he was only at like six, seven HP. If, uh, if we were to have done that, it would have been a fully uh, buffed up Wrath at level 12. So you do want to be make sure you're careful in how you use your Spooky Imp. You normally want to cast them before you do whatever big jet damage you have from your team. But anyways, that'll wrap it up for this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.